Over this past semester, I swapped my area of study over to interior architecture. And during the semester, I learned how to use a program called AutoCAD. AutoCAD is essentially a program that lets you draw with lines or make 3D models in order to plan out buildings. You can design objects with it. Like there's the possibilities are basically endless and you can mark in measurements and make sure that you can hand off plans for a building or something over to somebody and they'll know exactly how to build it. And I basically learned the very fundamentals of what you can do with this program. But it was just enough for me to kind of think about what I could use this program for. So by the end of the semester, I was dying to create a Minecraft house with this program. So the first thing I did was go into a Minecraft world and lay out a border of where I wanted to build my house. And to do this, I just alternated two different blocks and counted them. And I alternated the blocks to make it easier to count. But I did that and I laid it out, counted the blocks, and then I put it into my AutoCAD file. I began by creating a one foot by one foot square, which represented a block in Minecraft. And then I copy and pasted those in a triangle using the dimensions I counted out in the Minecraft world. Next, I turned the whole area into a grid and then planned to pick out each individual block and color code, whether it's a wall, window, and so on. But I quickly realized that this method just wasn't going to work very well. Instead, I tried making a basic structure and then forming all the blocks off of that structure because I kind of had an idea of what I wanted just in my head and then I just worked off of that. Eventually, I finished the floor plan, but I began adding some color because I wanted to be able to differentiate between the different objects and since there was a second floor, it was kind of hard to tell like what was the first floor, what was the second floor. So by adding color, I was able to make it very clear on what was what. After that, I was done with the plan, so I was ready to export them and print them off. Unfortunately, after all of that, my printer was actually out of colored ink, so it turned Turns out that I had to print it in black and white anyways, but it still worked out. So I picked up the materials and then I started outlining the whole structure of the building that I had set up on AutoCAD. At this point I had mapped out the whole bottom floor and it pretty much is exactly how we mapped it out. So now that it was laid out, it's finally time to finish the structure and then landscape it. So here's how it turned out.
Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I really like how this build turned out. And the only thing I'd change is I'd include a bathroom. Yeah, I didn't realize that till the end. But uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.